welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For those who are joining me for the first time, I'm Lauren Bate, and this is my YouTube channel. Today, I'm making chicken feet. So for all those expats that are living abroad who miss a taste of home, try my chicken feet recipe, and I'm serving it with some pop. Hang out with me, and let's see how we get this cracking. We are making my favorite today, guys. Welcome back, my chicken feet. So I was able to get the chicken feet from um, Chinese supermarket, frozen, one kg. I've got two large onions chopped up in my food blender and two small chilies. And then I've got one liter of hot water with uh, two blocks of um, chicken stock. So I'm gonna first start off with a little bit of oil in the pan. Perfect. Do my onions. about 40 mils oil. And let that go for a few minutes. And then I'll add my chicken feet. For cleaning, it, it's, they really came cleaned. Um, some people like to chop off the nails. Um, I don't, I just keep them as is. And yeah, I cook them. gonna add a nice eight teaspoon of uh, ginger. It's been about 15 minutes of sweating. I love that. I'm gonna add my chicken feet now. In they go. And I add my first batch of stock too. Basically half. And then I close it. And I have it closed for about, um, let's say, 10, 15 minutes before I open it up again and shake it and stir it. And I do this for about an hour, almost yeah, an hour and 30 minutes I do this until I get the end results, which I'll show you guys later. Say bye. So guys, I'm like an hour in to my chicken feet cooking. And this video is, I'm hoping will reach out to any like African aspect, experts that are craving chicken feet you can get this at any Chinese supermarket. And then I'm adding the last bit of stock in. That's it. And then I've got in here um, one teaspoon of my pepper mix and coriander. And then another half a teaspoon of chili powder and coriander. So if you are a black African living abroad and you're craving a piece of home, go to those Chinese supermarkets, they know what is up. I'm gonna season this with salt. I'm gonna cook this out for like another 30 minutes. The liquid will reduce by like 75%. And then it's ready to eat. And then I'm going to be eating it with my pop pan. It's the closest I can get to pop here in the Netherlands and some places in the US. It says 100% maize bianco. Yeah, anyway, so. I use a whisk for mine. I add a little bit of that in our whisk. You can have like a strong, sturdy grip. You add a little bit of your whisk. Making sure that there's no lumps. Same way as you make grits. If you've ever made grits, it's like porridge. And I'm gonna keep on adding this until it starts to bubble up. 
and looks a little bit like a volcano. See like that? Adding my last bit of flour, I mean, maize into it, and it's popping, it's gonna hurt you, so that's when you close. Ooh. Whoa! And that's stage one of making pop. I finish it off by just adding the pop slowly again, but going through with a wooden spoon this time until it's a thick consistency. And that will be the pop. Chicken feet can go for another 30 minutes, and then we should be ready to eat. After an hour and 30 minutes, this is what you get. Chicken feet, you also get this glorious gravy that goes with it. Then I've got the pop, and that's what I'm gonna eat now and indulge. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as I make my favorite meal, the chicken feet. Please like, subscribe, and share. And let me know if you ever try this out. And for anybody who's missing home and wants to remember home, this is for me an ultimate when I miss home. The pop is okay, it tastes a little bit sweet, but it is what it is. Enjoy it. Let me know how the recipe goes, guys. See you guys next week.